nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good evening, everyone. We're back for the final event of the RBC Spirit of the Capital Youth Awards virtual series. By a show of hands, in the comments section below, who tuned in last night? Well, that's fantastic. My name is Omar Debegi Pacheco. I'm the host of CBC Ottawa News at 11, and I'm back to MC the final event in the awards series where we'll be sharing the remaining stories from the incredible group of young people making a difference in their communities. We've also got another exciting performance lined up, so stay tuned for that. Now to start off tonight's final awards ceremony, please welcome Kirsten Dumont to offer a land acknowledgement. Hello everyone. Today we will start with the virtual smudge. I ask that everyone takes a moment of silence and to think positive thoughts. Miigwech. Today for my opening, I will be reading a poem that I wrote about youth activism. We stand with our heads high, our feet go where the foot of mankind has never been, an anxious and beautiful life. Every soul has its birth when it descends upon the earth. We were placed here by creator to be the knowledge keepers of the earth. The sun is warm, the youth are young, and the songbirds have yet to sung. We have been placed on this earth to be the keepers of all, to be the keepers and the protectors of the land, the water, the wind, and every single little being on this earth. But still we feel choked when we as youth try to sing, flourish, and soar. I hope you all enjoy the Youth Ottawa Awards today and have a great and safe day. Miigwech. Miigwech to Kirsten for a wonderful opening to the RBC Spirit of the Capital Youth Awards virtual series. I now welcome Mayor Jim Watson to say a few words. Hi, I'm Jim Watson, Mayor of the City of Ottawa. It's my pleasure to welcome everyone to the annual RBC Spirit of the Capital Youth Awards hosted virtually over three weeks by Youth Ottawa. I'd also like to congratulate the 16 young leaders who are bringing home awards this year. Your accomplishments and commitment uh, are helping to make our community a better place. And it's exceptional young people like yourselves that make me proud to be mayor of our great city. I hope everyone enjoys this opportunity to celebrate and give back to tomorrow's leaders. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Mayor Watson. I'd now like to invite Linda Newman, Vice President of Commercial Banking, to speak on behalf of RBC. That's tonight's title sponsor. Hi, everyone. My name is Linda Newman. I'm a Vice President, Commercial Banking here at RBC in Ottawa, and a proud member of the Youth Ottawa Board. It is such a pleasure for me to be part of this evening and to celebrate these incredible youth and community leaders. Each RBC Spirit of the Capital Youth Award recipient is truly an inspiring story. Stories of courage, stories of resilience, stories that ultimately demonstrate how much you care. They're stories of overcoming adversity, of perseverance and pushing yourself to make a difference. And their stories of how your efforts led to greater inclusion and understanding. Your hard work and optimism and your ability to learn and adapt are not only inspiring characteristics, they are increasingly the skills required to succeed in the new world of work. At RBC, we're so proud to partner with organizations like Youth Ottawa and share a common goal, to unlock the potential of our young people helping them thrive and drive Canada's future prosperity. Young people have the confidence, the capabilities and the inspiration to reimagine the way our country works and to chart a more prosperous and inclusive future for us all. When young people succeed, we all succeed. We all win. Parents, educators, governments, youth services organizations, employers and societies at large.
That's why RBC created RBC's Future Launch Program. RBC's Future Launch Program is acting as a catalyst for change. It's an investment in youth in our collective future. We will continue acting as a convening power, taking a more than money approach to helping young people access meaningful employment through work experience, skills development, networking, mental well-being supports, and services. And tonight's award recipients are wonderful examples of just what is possible. So keep pushing the boundaries, defining your own path. Keep believing that you can do anything. You're already proven leaders and an inspiration to us all. I can't wait to see how your stories unfold. Congratulations, award recipients. Thank you and enjoy your evening. Thanks for that, Linda. Our first award this evening is the Take a Stand Award, and that's presented by Stanley Philippe. That's Carleton University's recruitment officer. The Take a Stand Award recognizes youth who have shown leadership, courage, and creativity when it comes to advocating for positive changes in their communities. Hello, everyone. Let me start by saying what an honor it is to be celebrating the many achievements of our amazing youth right here in the nation's capital. If 2020 has taught us anything, it's that our need for community is as strong as ever. It's one of the reasons why Carleton puts such an emphasis on supporting our students. Since 1942, Carleton's campus, located on the traditional unceded territories of the Algonquin Nation, has become a training ground for creatives, innovators, and leaders. Now, through research, discussion groups, and labs, our goal is to provide our students with the knowledge and skills to change the world. Now, while we pride ourselves on delivering an amazing academic experience, either in person or virtually, time and time again, we find youth like you are the ones teaching us so many valuable lessons. That's why we're so proud of our public affairs and policy management students who in their first year at Carleton left their mark on the House of Commons PAGE program. Now, working alongside our members of parliament, including our prime minister, is no easy task, but it has attracted some of the best leaders in the country to our community. We're also proud of our engineers, who believe even the smallest of places deserve the most attention. I'm referring, of course, to the Northern Nomad, a 220 square foot net zero energy building meaning it produces as much energy as it consumes in a calendar year. Now, this type of innovation and collaboration is sure to create a more sustainable future for all. I also want to shout out our Sprott School of Business students who, in the face of a global pandemic, haven't forgotten about the organizations that are woven into the fabric of this city. Through the Crisis Management and Recovery Initiative, these undergraduate business students have served as consultants for businesses and not-for-profit organizations who are currently facing many challenges as a result of COVID-19. And so, as you continue to carve your path towards your next great accomplishment, know that Carlton will be here to help you shape the future, create a welcoming community, and thrive for sustainable change in Ottawa and around the world. It is now my great pleasure to introduce two young people that haven't shied away from their leadership potential. This year's winners of the Take a Stand Award, Immaculate and Kirsten. <laughs> yep, clapping for you. The recipients will now join us to share their journeys. My name is Immaculate Nyashawa. I am 18 years old. I was born in Congo, but grew up in Kenya. And I come from the Banyamulenge tribe of Congo. I'd like to see changes uh, when it comes to diversity and inclusion, mostly. Uh, I'd like to see that the community is accepting and takes into account everyone's background and how to treat them accordingly. I think activism is important for young people because uh, they can then realize that they can take a stand and that there's an importance in their voice, that their voice can be heard and that they have the power to change 
anything that they see needs to be changed instead of sitting back and waiting for someone else to take that change. I'm most proud of my team, to be honest, because we've all worked so hard uh, to get to where we are. Being recognized for this award, it's shown me that what we do uh, does have an impact on people's lives and being recognized for it kind of shows that even though I'm not doing this to, to get approval from people or doing it to be validated, people do see what you're doing. People do see that you're trying to make a difference and they appreciate it. Twenty-year-old Anishinaabe Kwe woman. I'm First Nations, so I've been working a lot with uh, the OCDSB school board to bring uh, Indigenous stories into the schools to grades from kindergarten to grade four and grade five. So to be able to go into schools, it definitely makes me happy that there is a change within this kind of system, and that our true stories are being told. I think that activism is very important for me and especially other youth to get involved with because we are the next generations. We're going to be the ones that are going to be dealing with the climate issues within the world. We're going to be dealing with the indigenous, uh, you know, treaty problems that have been going on. Being recognized for this award means a lot to me as it's not only for me, but it's also for the community and the people that stand behind me. The fact that they see me as an advocate and activist within our community and feel that I am deserving of this award truly warms my heart and it reminds me that I'm not alone within my struggles, I'm not alone within this movement and that they're all standing behind me. Thanks for that, Stanley, and congratulations, Immaculate and Kirsten. Our second award of the evening is the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Award. It's presented by tonight's title sponsor, RBC. Presenting the award on RBC's behalf is Ray Rashed, Vice President of Commercial Banking. The Entrepreneurship and Innovation Award recognizes youth who are making a difference in society through innovation and that also exhibit an entrepreneurial spirit. Youth Ottawa would like to thank RBC for being such an involved partner in preparing for this year's edition of the RBC Spirit of the Capital Youth Awards. Youth Ottawa recognizes the investment that RBC is making in youth and is grateful to have their support as they recognize these wonderful youth tonight. Hello everyone, my name is Ray Rashid, Regional Director of the Technology and Innovation Banking Team for Ottawa and all of Ontario North and East, and I'm so proud and excited to be here on behalf of RBC to introduce the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Award. This award is presented to individuals who make a difference in their community with their innovative and entrepreneurial spirit. They bridge gaps, they look outside the norm to come up with a solution that makes a big difference, and they collaborate and inspire through strong leadership. Recipients of this award demonstrate not only incredible project management and business skills, but they also demonstrate what it takes to be an entrepreneur. At RBC, we know we have a responsibility to help prepare young people for the unprecedented economic and technological changes taking place in the world today. Young people are Canada's future talent and the future leaders of our country. That's why RBC is a proud sponsor of this award. We know the world of work is changing and the skills being celebrated by this award will serve the recipients well in the future. The youth being recognized this evening have big blue sky ideas. They see obstacles and challenges as opportunities for change and as opportunities to help people make a difference. This evening, I have a distinct pleasure of recognizing the 2020 Entrepreneurship and Innovation Award recipients. Congratulations, Annie Zhang and Bavaya Mohan. I'm proud to recognize these incredible youth for their hard work and dedication to their projects. Congratulations to the 2020 Entrepreneurship and Innovation Award recipients. You inspire us all to think big and make a difference. Now let's hear a little more from Annie and Bavaya about what they each accomplished to get here this evening. Thanks so much and have a wonderful evening. Hi, my name is Annie. I'm a current undergraduate student studying computer science and business. I love the world of entrepreneurship as well as computer science, so loving that I can combine the two together and create something I love. <laughs> I run an organization called Project Tech Conferences. We run events and host workshops, panels, speaker sessions for high school and middle school students on various topics in computer science, hoping to inspire and empower the next generation of programmers. 
To me, entrepreneurship and innovation really means an opportunity to make a positive impact in other people's lives. Winning this award definitely means a lot to me. It's really nice to see that this work that's being done is recognized. And beyond, I think, just my own contributions to Project Tech conferences, this also acknowledges all the hard work that our team has put into this. I think the biggest piece of advice that I've ever received in terms of starting something new, going out there, putting yourself out there, becoming an entrepreneur e even, is definitely to just take a leap of faith in yourself and go for it. I know so oftentimes as youth, we might feel like we're too young, we're too ex inexperienced, or we don't know enough, but really part of the beauty of becoming an entrepreneur is you learn so much throughout the process. So don't be afraid and just go for it. My name is Bhavya Mohan. I'm a grade 12 student at Colonel Bai Secondary School. Um, and some of my interests are playing basketball, listening to music, but also performing cancer research at a lab at Carleton University. My research started when I was in grade five and I reached out to Dr. William Wilmer's lab at Carleton. And he accepted me and it took a bit of a while to learn all of the words and how to read papers, but eventually I was able to gain that skill. So being recognized is actually something which means a lot. Um, actually having the opportunity to one, uh, having the opportunity to show that my work has kind of had some value is something meaningful. But I think the better aspect of it is the fact that I've been able to then present my work to more people and maybe even inspire other people to pursue their own passions and have their own interests. My advice for other youth would be pursue your own passions. So find something you're passionate about and then no matter what, just take as much time as you need learn as much as you can and then eventually you'll find issues which exist within that passion and then use your own creativity to actually solve those issues. Thanks for that Ray and congratulations Annie and Bavia. We've now got a musical performance by Ottawa artist Kareem. Known for his narrative style music, Kareem is an award-winning R&B fusion artist aspiring to evoke mindfulness and optimism within listeners of his music. Kareem, camera's yours. Hello everyone, thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor to be here today for the last night of the Fifth Spirit of the Capital Awards virtual series. I'm so, so excited to be here because I was actually a past recipient. I won last year for the Culture and Arts category. If you don't know already, my name's Kareem. I'm a neo soul singer songwriter from Ottawa, Canada, and I'm here to perform a special piece for you tonight. This track is called Everyone. It's off my debut EP, and if you haven't listened to it yet, you can check it out on every streaming platform. The name is KAR33M. Don't forget it. And yeah, so this track, Everyone, is about fostering that spirit of believing that you can become anything that you want to be, and you don't only have to be one thing. I feel like it's the same thing the Spirit of the Capital Awards is fostering in everyone. So without further ado, this is everyone. Please enjoy. Sing along with me. I can I can hear you over the laptops and the screens. Join along. Let's do this together. Another color in the back. A brother and a king. 
This is my world But I need more in my life They tell you where I've been They turn my world Into pages in our book The words you sing will come from deep within They'll be our guide is that I need ways Am I really what I want to be? Hey, am I who I said not to be? Am I really me? Wait, or am I just another color in the box? Hey, am I who I said not to be? Am I really me? Or am I just another color in the box? 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 Wait, no, oh, 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 Another color in the box. Sing it, I can hear you. Am I who I said not to be? Am I really me? Or am I just another color in the box? One more time, let's take it home. Yeah. Am I who I said not to be? Am I really me? Or am I just another color in the box? Or am I just another color in the box? Thank you so much, Spirit of the Capital Awards. You guys have been amazing. Iron Man Kareem, peace and love. That was an amazing performance. Thanks for that, Kareem. Beautiful music. What did everyone else think? Can we get a virtual round of applause for Kareem? You can show your support and your enthusiasm in the comments section. Our final award this evening is the Service and Caring Award. It's presented by the Carleton University Student Association. The Service and Caring Award recognizes outstanding service to the community. In welcoming Kathleen Wary, president of Carleton University Students Association, you thought of what would also like to acknowledge the particular importance of CUSA's Support for the Spirit Awards. It's an example of the for youth, by youth approach that Youth Ottawa believes in. Hello everyone, my name is Kathleen and I am the Carleton University Students Association President. I'd like to start by thanking CBC for hosting and Youth Ottawa for putting on this event. As the CUSA President, I have the honour of presenting this year's recipients for the Service and Caring category. At CUSA, we believe that youth who step up to make an impact must be celebrated. High school is already so hard. Classes, extracurriculars, navigating friendships, Surviving alone is impressive, but stepping up to serve and care for your community truly merits an award. The first recipient of the Youth Ottawa 2020 Service and Caring Award is Mashkura Tabasun Tathurye. Congratulations. Mashkura participates in countless volunteer programs, including helping out at a local daycare, tutoring her fellow students, as well as helping out with engaging activities for senior citizens. After Working with the United Nations Association in Canada, Mashkura started the Low Waste Shop, which runs workshops on how to take action to combat global climate change. When I met Mashkura, I was blown away by all the ways she's taken every opportunity she's been given to make an impact. She is highly aware of not only her ability to help others, but her duty to do so. I am inspired by Mashkura's story. She has overcome countless obstacles and has chosen to resist apathy and set aside time to create meaningful change. I commend Mashkara for taking the initiative to start the low waste shop. It takes so much courage to start your own thing, to do something that not any of your peers are doing, to believe in yourself, to believe in the cause, and to know that you have what it takes to make a difference. So today, we recognize your courage and perseverance. Congratulations, Mashkara. Now, the second recipient of the Youth Ottawa 2020 Service and Caring Award is Tesla Luck. 
Teslock is part of the Canada Top Flight Academy, a preparatory program for basketball. He also facilitates workshops for young men leading change, a program that brings together young men to end gender-based violence. He also helps with Youth Connections Ottawa, a suicide prevention program, and mentors grade 8 male at risk students. Teslock is a remarkable leader. He has overcome numerous challenges through his commitment to helping others and sticking true to himself. He strives for excellence and dedicates himself to purposeful change, whether that's through mentoring, basketball, or community service. I commend Teslock for recognizing that someone like him who truly understands the struggles that young men within his own community face can be a much needed role model. It takes so much courage to give back and to be a role model within your own community, but it also makes the biggest impact. Teslock, I'm inspired by your ability to focus on your own goals and make them happen, while also opening doors for those coming behind you. That is leadership. Congratulations. I'd now like to invite this year's recipients to come share their stories. Um, I'm a grade 12 student from Sir Wilfrid Laurie Secondary School. Uh, I'm very passionate about the environment and engineering, so I'm hoping to pursue something along that line in the future. There was a lack of environmental advocacy at my school, so I talked to my principal and a few of my friends met up and we started to start this project and it went well at my school, so we decided to go to different community centers and different schools to branch it out. So the Lois project is an eco-friendly initiative where we help youth be more environmentally involved by hosting uh, eco-friendly workshops. This award does empower me as a person, but also I think it inspires other youth to come forward and go ahead with an initiative or a project they might be passionate about. Um, I think when you value youth and you give a word or you yeah, value youth, it really inspires other youth to come forward and make an impact. And we have seen this chain reaction going on. So it's really inspiring to see how youth are being involved in different sectors. Uh, so it's a cool award, so I'm really happy, yeah. <laughs> My name is Teslock. I am a student at UIT at the moment. Something about myself is I'm an outgoing person, I'm kind, I'm easy to talk to, and I'm a basketball player. I think it's important to give back to the community because like, it's where I'm from. I'm from Ottawa, I'm proud to be from here. And being where I'm from, I like to give back to the kids that are lesser. I volunteer for Young Men Leading Change because my teacher introduced, him, introduced it to me at first. And I was at first I wasn't interested in, and then she got me into it and I started doing it and I was like, oh, this feels good. It gave me like a good energy. I usually help kids with homework or I help them with their basketball or I just play with them, talk to them about their day, make sure their head's right. At the moment, I'm not doing anything. I'm keeping in contact with my old high school teacher at Notre Dame and Canada Top Flight Academy. And every, every now and then I get to email a couple of students, see how their day is going. I'm playing university basketball right now, so I'm looking to, you know, maybe play overseas after I'm done my degree. The advice I'd give to the youth out there is just to be yourself and don't let other people's opinions affect what you would want to do. Thanks for that, Kathleen, and congratulations to Mashkura and Teslak. Well, that concludes the presentation of the awards, and so perhaps we can take a moment to recognize once more all of these amazing youth. Can we give a final virtual applause to all the 2020 RBC Spirit of the Capital Award recipients? You can show your enthusiasm once again right below in the comments section. Thanks, everyone, and congratulations again to all of our awards recipients. Before we wrap up the ceremony, Ian Bingaman, Executive Director of Youth Ottawa would like to say some concluding remarks on behalf of Youth Ottawa. From my part, thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. It's been my pleasure to host the past three weeks. Stay tuned, stay safe, and keep well. Ian, the camera's yours. My name is Ian Bingman. My pronouns are he and him. I have the great honor and privilege of serving as the Executive Director for Youth Ottawa. On behalf of Youth Ottawa's Board of Directors, our staff, 
and all of the thousands of inspiring young people we work with annually. The 2020 cohort of award recipients joins what has become a movement of young people sparking change and inspiring hope, both here in Ottawa and abroad all around the world. We are fortunate to have run these awards for more than 20 years, but we could not have done so without the ongoing support from our community. In particular, we're grateful for our title sponsor, RBC, and of course, our media sponsor, CBC, and our wonderful host tonight, Mr. Omar Debegi Pacheco. Our sponsors do critical work in the community, not the least of which is providing opportunities to young people to realize their potential. We could not do this without them. We're also grateful to His Worship, Mayor Jim Watson, for his contributing words, and to Kirsten Dumont, to Megwich, for your words of welcome and for the gift of your poetry. Finally, and most importantly, I wish to express my deepest appreciation to our award recipients. You have all achieved remarkable individual successes, but no stage or award could possibly compare with your collective impact. Together, you're showing Ottawa the power of what youth can achieve. You are showing us all that yes, youth are the future. <laughs> but far, far more importantly, you demonstrate that we are so much better when youth contribute to their communities right now, today. At Youth Ottawa, our mission is to create opportunities for young people to impact their communities. We want to bring forward your unparalleled passion and caring for the world and for each other. We want to benefit from your unique perspectives on the challenges of our times. And then we, and then we need to act on your innovative ideas so that we can be better. To all of tonight's award recipients, to all of the 2020 RBC Spirit of the Capital Youth Award recipients, and to all of the recipients over the last 20 years, you are the vision of what this mission can achieve. You are the fuel that drives us forward. Thank you and good night.